Hey guys, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect one of our alarm security cameras to an external alarm light. I'm using that dome uh, IP camera that you see behind me, and I recently had a customer contact me, uh, that's why I'm making this video, and he wanted to use that alarm security camera to detect humans when they enter a certain area around his house and then trigger his home automation system using the alarm output. So I'm making this video to show you how to use this, uh, it's an IP camera and we call it an alarm security camera because all the alarm components that it has built into it. Uh, I'm gonna use it standalone. I usually connect these to our Viewtron NVRs, but in this video I'm gonna show you how to use this as kind of a standalone device and have that camera detect humans when they enter this zone in, over here in our tech support area and trigger that, uh, that alarm light. Uh, I'll show you how to wire it up first and then I'll walk you through the interface through a web browser. This is how the alarm light is wired to the alarm outputs of the camera. Ports one and two on that alarm block are the relay output ports. I basically connect the power supply of the alarm light in line with the relay output of the security camera. Then I use a PT4 power lead to connect the alarm output and power lead from the alarm light to a 12 volt DC power supply. This is an IP camera with power over ethernet support. So I have the network PoE port of the camera connected to a PoE switch on our network. Next, I'm gonna open up the web browser on my laptop, and this is actually the camera we're using on the website, but I'm gonna type the, IP, the local IP address of the IP camera into the browser, and then I'll be prompt for the uh, login and password, which I'll enter here and then press the login button. I'm not gonna change the password right now. And the first thing I'm brought to is a live view, and this is stretched out, a live view of the camera. And I'm gonna make the aspect ratio one to one because uh, I don't want the picture stretched out. And then I'm gonna click on this config tab up top. And in this configuration menu, I'm gonna select event. On the event menu, I'm gonna select region intrusion. And then I'm gonna check this enable checkbox. And I only want to detect humans, so I'm going to uncheck the motor vehicle and non-motor vehicle. And then I obviously want to trigger that alarm output, so I check off that box. Now, the holding time on this screen, I'm going to set to one second, and I'll explain why uh, in a minute. Uh, I'll click Save there, and then I'll click on this Area tab, so I can draw the, uh, the, the region that I want to uh, detect humans in. So I basically just draw a rectangle here, for where I want the detection to take place. And I click stop draw when I'm done and click uh, save. And last I'll show you, this is where you can set up the schedule. Now I'm gonna keep it 24 by seven, but you can use this add and erase function to set up specific hours and days that you want the this uh, human detection enabled. Again, I'm gonna keep it 24 by seven. So I'll select save there. And then next under alarm, I'm gonna select alarm out. The mode leave set to alarm linkage, and then I'm gonna set the holding time to 10 seconds. This is how long the uh, light will be turned on. This will override the settings from that other screen because it's, it's higher. And by the way, uh, you want to set to the alarm type to normally open so that the relay is open and no power gets that alarm light in the normal mode. And then when it's triggered, it closes that relay so that the alarm light gets power and it'll turn on. So I'll go back to the live display for now, and you can see it's detecting James there as a human in our uh, intrusion zone. So next I'm gonna run the test, and in the browser if you click this button in the lower right, that'll enable the uh, visualization of that intrusion zone. And I'm gonna use the, uh, the camera on my iPhone to record me walking in uh, into the room here. So at the same time I'm recording from the camera, uh, I'm gonna record my, from my phone so you can see that alarm light going off as I enter that intrusion zone. And it's kind of weird, when you when you videotape a flashing light, you can't see it that well. So it's actually flashing a lot more than what you see here. And I'll just go back and expand the screen again while I wrap up. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I used an alarm light in this example, but you can connect any low voltage device to that alarm output on these security cameras. And uh, 
again, these are Vutron AI cameras. They have that software built into them that can detect humans and cars. And then this particular model we refer to as an active deterrent camera or an alarm security camera because it has actually has a built-in LED and a built-in uh, speaker and microphone. There's all kinds of ways you can trigger interaction uh, with this security camera. If you want to learn more about our Vutron alarm security cameras, uh, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com/alarm. Thank you for watching.